Hi everybody. Welcome to gym class with Mr. Hebert. Today we're going to be doing our second installment of animal moves. They're so much fun and they can be done inside if you have a nice small cleared space or if you're outside in your backyard. Today we're going to be, uh, I want to encourage you to be creative and uh, with the way that you're moving. And if you need some more ideas, you can copy the moves that I'm doing as well. All right, well, let's get right into it today. Today we're gonna start off with a move called the inchworm. With the inchworm, what we have to do is we are reaching down to our, the ground, bending our legs only slightly, crawling out with our hands, and then bringing our feet up to match. Again, walk out with your hands and walk your feet up to match. Inchworms crawl along and then they bring their back end up, crawling all the way to the end. <laughs> Our next activity is gonna be the one-legged flamingo. Flamingos, like our stork stand, like to stand on one leg. And when we're standing on one leg, Sometimes we need to use our arms to balance. I mean, you can pretend those are the flamingo wings and we bounce from one leg to the other, balancing each time we jump from one leg to the other, switching which leg, trying to pause a little bit to see if we can balance. Back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> Great work. Our next animal is going to be the giraffe. Giraffes have really, really long necks, and so I want you all to reach up really high, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do big, long steps, like a giraffe. Eat those leaves off of the trees. Oh, the giraffe is sad when he can't reach any leaves. There's no leaves coming out yet. Reach really tall, long, big steps, lifting the knees high and stretching out your long giraffe legs. Well done, everybody. Our next animal, is one of my favorites. It's a tiger. Now, I don't know whether tigers stalk or uh, creep or crawl, but this is how a tiger moves. They long, skinny, and they sneak along the ground, moving usually one arm, then the other leg, arm leg, and creeping and crawling and stalking across the floor. Let's hear you guys do a nice tiger roar. Roar! Or they purr like a kitten. Our next animal is a snake. Now, snakes like to slither on the ground. They don't have any legs. They don't have a choice really. They have to work really hard to try and get their bodies off the ground, but they're slithering and sliding in curvy pathways all the way around. Yeah, I can hear you hissing along with me. Our next animal is called a bison. Bisons are in Manitoba, where we are right now. That's where they used to gallop across the prairies. So everybody get your bison horns and let's try galloping, galloping. Oh, covered in dry leaves. Giraffes don't like dry leaves. Galloping like a bison in a big stampede. Pushing off that front foot and bringing the, remember the fox and the rabbit? <laughs> he never quite catches that rabbit. And for our next one, we're going to be doing some donkey kicks. Now, you need to make sure when you're doing a donkey kick that you don't kick anybody behind you or kick anything. So make sure it's clear behind you. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna support yourself on your hands, but you're going to just kick one leg up in the air. The other leg needs to stay down so that you have something to land on. Kick it and then land on that same foot, hopping on the one foot while you're kicking the other one. Try it with the other leg. Hop and kick with one leg, hopping on the other foot this time. Kick, and you can say, 
<laughs> a lot of fun. But the rabbit is a really interesting animal that hops, jumps along and it kind of has a, a galloping pattern that's kind of supporting yourself with your hands and he can jump, jump, just like a rabbit. Jump, jump, and we stop and we'll eat some of the grass. Well done today, everyone. You see, animal moves can really be beneficial for kids that are feeling anxious. It provides this calming pressure, deep pressure in the joints and in your limbs, and it helps us to develop core strength, a sense of balance, and a body awareness. So just a great way to challenge yourself. Now, when this video ends, see if you can think of some other animals that you love to move like and send me in some pictures. I would love to see them. Have a great day, everybody, and be the best that you can be.